Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Fatma Ahmed. In case you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Fatma Ahmed. Uh, I live in Istanbul. I'm a Kenyan living in Istanbul and I vlog a lot of things uh, about Istanbul. For example, businesses you can invest here in Istanbul, life in Istanbul, some few travel vlogs here and there. But mainly lately I focused about businesses you can invest in Istanbul and like street interviews because I do them and I, it, it's fun to do them. So today I'm in this very interesting street uh, named Fevzi Pasha uh, Jadesi, which is a very long uh, stretch of a street. And uh, what they have, which I found very interesting is I'm vlogging in public, which is very, very <laughs> traumatizing because everyone is looking at me. But what I'm trying to say is this street has literally some of the best uh, wedding gowns I've ever seen in my entire existence. They have very beautiful wedding gowns and not only wedding gowns I've observed they also have like evening gowns, they have wedding shoes, they have jewelry like wedding jewelry, they have everything. They even have like the lingerie you wear on the first night of your wedding. So I'm gonna try and enter a few shops uh, to ask them to phone. If they refuse well I'm good. What's the worst that can happen? They'll just say no. But if they accept I will just show you guys a few. But here's the thing, there's so many shops, so many. So in case, uh, Yani, you know, it's unpredicted, in case they don't, they say we, you cannot shoot. This uh, place is in um, Vesnejilar, which is in the, I think, Fatih district. Uh, it's actually where Istanbul University is. So Yani Kapi Haji Osman, you get off Vesnejilar, Istanbul University. So that's where you get off. When you get off, you just walk like three minutes and voila, you are in that street. Let me show you the street itself. I'm actually, I think at the beginning of the street, so I'm gonna flip uh, the, the phone and show you. So guys, like I was telling you, that's the name of the street. It's called Fevzi Pasha Jabesi. So the reason why I'm showing you, I've gotten a few comments on my uh, YouTube, people asking me about evening gowns. There's some I'm already seeing here. I don't know if you can see. See the wedding gowns up there, then the evening gowns than the evening gowns downstairs. If you want to come to Istanbul and shop for wedding gowns, I swear you should come here. I swear to God, this is where you should literally drop yourself. Let me ask them. Hello. Uh, I'm a YouTuber. I'm trying to film this street uh, and I've seen there's so many wedding shops. Is it okay if I film your store? Is it okay if I show people your wedding gowns? Is it okay? Yes, I yes, that's what I want. Thank you so much. Ooh, so, uh, do I remove my shoes? My shoes, do I remove them? Or I, the shoes? Oh, okay. <laughs> I see a red couple. Anyways, guys, so you can see this wedding goes. Oh my god, they're so stunning. How much do you sell your wedding gowns? Right? Yes. It's from 10,000 lira. From 10,000 lira? Yeah. Let's say I want that one. It's, it looks beautiful, that one. This one is yes. 12,000 lira. 12,000 lira. This one all handmade. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is all handmade? Yeah. Which uh, tradition? Is it Turkish? Turkish. Yeah. Osman. Osman. Ah, okay. So, guys. Kasna. What is it called? This work is named as Kasna. Ooh, look at the details. Okay, what about this one? How much if someone wants to this buy? 15,000. 15, yeah. So, guys, if you want to go all out and wear a Turkish wedding gown, you have it. <laughs> Guys, if you want a wedding gown for your wedding or for someone, what is the name of your shop? And his name is Bursa Pazari. Bursa Pazari. Yes. Ah, okay. I, page, uh, I will put it on my YouTube, your Instagram. <laughs> Even this one is very beautiful.
So I'm gonna keep walking, like Johnny Walker. Keep walking, so I'm gonna walk, I don't know how far. Maybe I should have walked back, I don't know. But I'm gonna see if I'm gonna find more shops, but I'm gonna keep walking. You can as well get a, a tour of the street, the busy street. This is like me giving you a 4K HD tour. <laughs> ah, I'm so thirsty, I need to go get water. I need to cross the other side because the entire of this side is just wall. I think this wall is of the mosque. There's a very beautiful, huge mosque that I'm actually tempted to go into. But no, that is not the business of the day. Let me cross. I think the shops are on this side. It, this is actually where I'm going to buy my wedding gown, inshallah. But there has to be a husband first, no? If the husband comes, this is where we're going to buy the wedding gown. I need water, but I, this is so fancy. I don't need this. I need no more water. Eh, so you need that? Only Oniki. Normal. Erikli. Yo. Ah, okay. So guys, here I'm gonna use the voiceover because accidentally my mic went off. But like I was telling you earlier, I was gonna show you an evening gown shop, and this is one of them. There's so many, and actually the secret is the shops down they sell normal clothes you can see from the reflection in the mirror and then upstairs is where they have this tanning evening gowns so when you walk into a shop don't get confused you will see like clothes like on the ground floor normal clothes but then upstairs is where they have all the nice stuff all the juicy stuff like the amazing amazing stuff so they have evening gowns which are like this from simple ones to like extravagant ones like i have never seen such stunning evening gowns in my life literally they have the most beautiful evening gowns i don't even know who are the designers but to be honest they're doing a great job really they're doing a great job so i walked into this shop accidentally i filmed this girl and she was actually like uh she's taking a video so i was like okay sorry my bad but i'm trying to show my friends or like the people who watch me uh the wedding gowns i mean the evening gowns so and one thing that actually surprised me is the price. The prices are not even that expensive. I was actually thinking maybe the prices are going to be expensive. But it's like 5,000 Turkish lira, 4,000. Literally, I think the lowest price was like 1,000 Turkish lira, which is like less than $100, to like 5,000 Turkish lira. And I think it's a good price given the, the way the outfits, you know, the way they are, the way they've designed them. It's so beautiful. It's so stunning. So I was literally walking into this evening shops and telling them, okay, because I can't hold my tripod and at the same time hold the dress. I was struggling and I can't, I'm, I was scared of telling the, like the helper, the girl to do it for me because I'm not buying. So they get pissed off. Some of them, they're like, you're not buying. So why do I need to do this? So I have to explain to them that I'm showing people so that people can know these shops exist from outside and they can buy from you. So that's the only way. Sometimes I struggle, but I have to be, you know, confident and explain to them. Sometimes I literally force them. Some of them, they don't want you to film. You have to explain to them that you're actually literally doing marketing, free marketing for them. So, yeah, this is one of the shops and I think I took uh, their contacts. Maybe I'll show it in the end. But yeah, so I'm just going to let you actually just look at the the outfits because I think at the end the lady tried to show me a couple so I'm gonna put some music you just watch like how stunning these dresses are and in case you need them you know where to find them I've told you the streets I've told you that street you'll just walk there and you'll find everything that you need that has to do with wedding and wedding gowns so cue the music
So guys, this is the name of the evening gown shop. And there is the contacts. If you want your evening gowns, you can order from them. I'll also take the business card anyway in my bag, in my collection. Shock the shekular, abla. Kolai girls, then bye bye. This is another evening gown shop. It's very attractive from the outside, and truly, even when you walk inside, they have very beautiful, like even beautiful is understatements. But unfortunately, they said no, you can't film. And I understood why, because I, I promise you, their, their designs, like the evening gowns, are majestic. Literally, they're so, so, so beautiful. And they have, like, a number of flaws, you know? But the entrance itself, it's, it's out of this world. Like, the entrance, you enter and you feel like, okay, you are in, in an expensive gown shop. Like, it just oozes expensive, expensive, expensive. I tried to explain to them, but they refused. I was like, give me your business card. And that is their business card. In case you want to go all out, you can talk to them. This is another shop. They sell normal clothes on the down floor. And then upstairs, they're selling, again, evening gowns. I noticed these ones were literally very heavy. And they're handmade. Those ones that have like beads and everything literally they're handmade and they're so heavy i don't even know how you can even wear that but then again like i was saying you go downstairs you find normal outfits you go upstairs you have stunning outfits and here's the other thing that i also discovered is that the prices are almost similar unless like maybe it can be like less i mean extra 100 or 200 but the prices in like the whole of that street is more similar so it's now your bargaining power how you're gonna bargain but yeah this section this one literally is the very amazing section but uh the, the dresses are literally heavy like i think they're kgs you wear one dress and you're like oof i was wondering is this what like rich people wear like why would you torture yourself okay i wouldn't wear that <laughs> but it's stunning i mean if you want to look beautiful why not but woof. I was literally holding the dress and I can't even hold with my hands. I'm, I'm imagining now wearing the outfits. But yeah, you can see the prices are almost similar. Because this is another shop. I was trying to weigh the beads in my hands <laughs> and here's the other beautiful thing yeah the most beautiful thing is that they have different colors and the colors are also stunning very very stunning i have used that word stunning a million times but i mean i was bamboozled i was like i i lost it i was like shooketh i was like wow this is so beautiful like whoever is doing this job of making these outfits he is doing an amazing job yeah, here I was playing with the mirror. But yeah, let's go to, a, to another shop. Oh, before I leave, that's the name of their shop. It's called Kube something. I can't even read. But yeah, that's the name of their shop. So this is a shop where they were selling like the wedding shoes and the wedding uh, handbags. But here is the thing. When I walked in, I was already recording. But when I started talking to them, they said no recording. So I captured a few like clips here and there. So, yeah, the girl's like, nope, no recording. But they literally sell, like, wedding shoes and wedding bags. And that's it. I didn't even ask the price because I think the guy was pissed. So I was like, okay. I like the shoe. You can wear it on your wedding if you don't like wearing heels. And it's so pretty. Even the bags are so beautiful. I forgot to ask the price, but I think they gave me the business number. So I'm probably going to show the business card. Hopefully, I did. Oh, yeah, there. There you have it. What's the name? Mepa. Yeah, so that's the name of their shop. The guy was a little bit pissed, but I was like, okay, give me your business card at least. So, yeah, let's go to another shop. So, this is another wedding gown shop that I just came across the street. And I was like, let me see. Because it looked different, a little bit different. Uh, the gowns, the way they, you know, like, put the gowns on the mannequin the head thing so as usual here i was trying to explain that i want to film i'm a youtuber blah 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 and the girl was not even 
impressed. Literally, she was not impressed. She's like, go ahead, do what you gotta do. So I was like, thank you, ma'am. So yeah, these are the type of gowns where they, I think they put that thing. I don't know what it's called. The thing that, you know, you put under the gown, it makes it puffy. What I liked about these gowns is the thing, the head thing. They had literally like, they look so stunning. Even the mannequins, they were like elegant. They knew how to dress them. Even the way they are standing, the mannequins, it's so, <laughs> it's so nice and stylish. Like, you know, it's like they're posing. But yeah. I think she also told me the price. I might have forgotten. But I'm sure I took the business card. That's one thing maybe I don't forget. In case you actually need the contacts. But yeah, look at this one. Look at how stunning this one is. Amazing. Look at the beadwork. The intricacy of the, the design. It's such, it's such a beautiful um, wedding gowns. Mm, look at this one with her hands. <laughs> and even with the bun. Look at the bun. Look at the bun on her head. Interesting. I would wear such a gown, but it's just... It's it's open. The hands are open. I actually saw my style, but I did, I couldn't... Um, like, walk into that show. But I saw my style in that show, in, the, in that street. I definitely saw my style. Not this one's... But I saw it somewhere in one of the shops. And I'm out. You remember earlier in the video when I was telling you they also sell this lingerie? Like the ones you wear like on your first wedding. Not only lingerie, they also have those things that you wear like... Like the... Like when you have like a bridal shower, not a bridal shower, but like the thing you wear, like saying I'm a bride, like the preparations you make before your wedding, you know, all that shabang about weddings, these things they wear where it's written bride and then bride, bridesmaids, things like that. So they have that too. And they have like all colors, like I wanted to ask what this board is. I forgot, but I wanted to know, you know, sometimes I get curious about weird things. I don't know what that board is with so many papers. I wanted to know what it is. But yeah, as usual, I took the, the name of their shop. They also have the, the contacts here. It wasn't focusing, but I think I put it somewhere on the table at least to focus. But yeah, that's the name of their shop. And I've seen even a bigger one than this one on my way out. So yeah, there you have it. You can, t you can take a screenshot. I don't know. Pause the video and take their contacts. But yeah, this one was even a smaller shop. I saw literally a bigger shop. That sells all this a bigger one that means they have maybe more better and nicer like uh, lingerie oops they even have different colors Okay, you'll also find a couple of shops, maybe not many, but a couple of shops where they sell the groom's uh, outfits, like for the wedding, which I think is amazing. You can literally kill many birds with one stone while you're on the streets. There might not be many of these shops, the main shop, but definitely you'll find a couple like this one, which I think had nice suits, to be honest, very nice suits. So yeah, guys, I think you have gotten an idea of the streets, what they sell, how much they sell, what you can find. I think my time is up and uh, I'm gonna end the video here. It's been nice, I enjoyed it, even though I wasn't shopping for wedding gowns, but I really, really enjoyed to check. I almost actually tried some of the gowns, but unfortunately it's a lot of work to remove my clothes, then put like on a new clothes. I wish I could do that, but it takes a lot of time and I don't have that time. But anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you've learned something. If you have, leave a comment like my phone is dying don't forget to like because the more you like the more the youtube recommends this video to many people and i'll see you in my next video ciao ciao bye bye bisous